I am Sammy the car guy from Car Blizz Automobile. Today, I'll be giving you various tips you need to know about your car before starting it in the morning. So, so just stay put and let me take you through this process one after the other. Like, how would you wake up in the morning and after doing your house chores, doing everything, come to your car? You enter the car immediately like this. I'm on up, you just. Why? <laughs> like seriously, why? Why will you try that? Don't you know that you are reducing the lifespan of your engine just waking up in, your, in the morning without taking one or two things from your car hood, from the bonnet before starting the car? Things you need to check. You need to check if your engine oil is still leveled. You need to check. If uh, the brake oil is leveled, if the, the water level is also okay, and then you check if your transmission also is okay. These are things that most car users just ignore, and then you start embarrassing yourself on the road. You say, yeah, can you just do jalo, jalo, jalo. These are things that you actually ignore. So I'll be taking you through things to check when to know if you are engaged or not in the car. So just check along with us. So this is the front compartment of the car. This is where you have the engine and your transmission box here. This is most people don't know this one. This is where you have your engine. This is a cross engine um car that is a, it's cross like this, it's not like the straight engine, like some pathfinders, like some pathfinders. So most Toyota cars, Toyota SUVs are actually cross engine like this. So this is um the engine compartment and beneath here, this is the transmission box that's the gear of the um car. Now if you want to get where your engine oil um, this, this is the dipstick here. This is the dipstick. You can find it here. In some cases, they used to write engine on the top, on the tip, or like of this um, dipstick, and then you break it out. This is what we call the dipstick of your car. This is the dipstick. And now, in the dipstick, how do you know if your engine oil is gauged or not? Let's get a tissue or a napkin. Yeah. Get the tissue. After removing the dipstick, just try cleaning this oil away from it. After cleaning the oil, cleaning proper, properly, and then insert it back into the engine. Be careful around inserting it, then bring it out again. Now, after bringing it out, as you can see, this is it here. Now, you see, there are two tips here. We have the first tip here, and then we have the second tip here. This second tip means that this is the low level. That is when you're seeing your engine oil being between this around this gear that's extremely low. At this point, you are at the point where you don't joke with it again. Now, this is the maximum. For some dipstick, for some cars, they write max and min here. Yeah. So this is the maximum and this is the minimum. This is where your engine oil is supposed to gauge to this point. But for this car now, you can see it is around this place. So this engine oil is a little bit short it's a little bit short and you used to have this issue either when your car is due for servicing or probably there's a leakage around the engine so depending on the, the the time range you did your last service to the present time you are checking it you can always know if the leak is something that is very much i need to quickly get it fixed but that's the maximum and the minimum now is that about the engine oil what happens if you refuse to check this engine oil every morning now what happens is that you don't know how long your car has been leaking your engine has been leaking, leaking um, oil or spilling oil around the engine and you just drive the car around there will be a time when the engine oil will be very low to this extent without you knowing driving the car around you can knock your engine you can knock your engine because when the engine is not seeing enough supply then it starts affecting the metals in the engine because that is the blood flowing in the engine. So once there is no blood, then bone start grinding bones. You know what I mean? And then your car, your car gets knocked. So that's why you need to always check it. How much will you pay for service? That you now get yourself, how much you sell engine in Nigeria now? We are talking of hundreds of thousands. So that's that about that. The second thing that you need to check before going out in the morning is this part that is the brake oil the brake oil this thing if you love yourself always ensure that you check this engine uh, this brake oil from time to time because if you don't 
your brake can easily lose grip on motion. Guys, when you are driving on motion, you just start pressing the brake pedal and you see that the brake is not cashing. So now, how do you know the point when your brake oil is also low or not? So now, this is the maximum point. This is where your brake oil is supposed to be. This is the gauge for your brake oil. While the minimum for this car is down here. Down here. This is where the minimum is located. Once your brake oil is getting to this point, something is wrong in the car. So as you can see, this one needs a little bit, a little top up. This is where the brake oil is at present. So, so you need to always check this from time to time in this in your car so that you ensure that you drive safely and you don't see us ignorant to put yourself in the necessary stress on the road or even accident. Now, another thing that you need to always check is your water level that's your coolant level now that is working for the radiator of the car now for this for some cars you will see the cap the radiator cap will be at this particular point of your car but for this particular car this one for this is where the coolant um, is located now this is where you pour your coolant that's your water and the water coolant this is where you pour it it goes straight from this place down to the radiator now you have you have to always ensure that that your water level here is also okay now this for this one now can you see this is the full and this is the low that is anytime you are topping up the water for this particular car the coolant for this particular car it should always be at this level at this level if it's going down to this that means that it is running low on coolant so and you need to just get it top up what happens if you refuse to pour water in your radiator, you are running the car around with low um, water or coolant. That means that you are joking with overheating. You just see people parking beside the road, okay, but I just start seeing some just like, ah, what will I do? What will I do? Part of the things that actually cause this is people not checking their water level before leaving home. So, you don't want to put yourself in those conditions, then always check your water level. Now, the last thing that I'll be talking about in this video is the power steering oil level that's the ATF. for this particular car this car is an electric power steering um, technology um, um, car so it doesn't use power steering oil it is actually electric car but we're taking you to another car that has the power steering um, oil and where you have to put it yeah this is the power steering um, oil for this particular car this is where it is located so you just open it and then you top off with ATF. Always use ATF. That's transmission oil for your power steering. Do not put brake oil in your power steering. Do not put engine oil in your power steering. Use only ATF. That's the ATF. Some um similar, the one similar to your transmission that you put in your jar box. And that's the transfer box of your car. Use ATF for this. And this is where you see the gauge. For this particular car, just look sideways and then you see it. This is the maximum and this is the minimum. As you can see, this particular one is gauged. So you see that that's maximum and this is the minimum. So these are the major oil and water coolants that you have to check in your car before you start it in the morning. After checking all these things and you see that your car actually passed it, then you can inside and enter inside the car and just have a full cramp. As you used to do. So I'll be bringing different oil and coolant that you can use in your car on this same channel. So please don't forget, if you enjoyed this section, just forget to like this video. Yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel on Carbliss Auto. Our Instagram page is also there, Carbliss Auto. Please try to follow us. Look at our video, share. Let me hear your comments. Let's hear what you have to say. Let's also hear your own personal experience on this particular section or other sections I'll be uploading on our different channels. So thank you very much. See you in my subsequent video.